Well, this year's 2013 fall production is Little Shop of Horrors. Um, it's by Alan Menken. He composed the music. The plot is about uh, Seymour and Audrey. Um, they work on Skid Row, um, which is an urban kind of slum back in the day. Um, and um, they happen upon this strange and interesting plant. Well, along the line, Seymour discovers that this plant eats blood. And so he starts feeding it some of his blood, but the, and as the plant grows, it needs more and more. And so he accidentally kills Audrey's uh, abusive boyfriend and feeds him to the plant. And it kind of works out that he and Audrey get together then, and, but then Seymour has to find another person to kill. And so anyway, the plot just moves on from there. It's sort of um, uh, Seymour and Audrey battling against this plan a little bit. I thought it would be fun and a good fit for the cast members that we have and the, the talent that we have with the students. The dress, the dress, much in the... Oh wow, it's still great advertising. Haley Roberts is playing Audrey, um, and she's a beautiful soprano. <laughs> I'm Audrey, I'm the female lead. She's just kind of ditzy and adds a lot of comical relief. It's about people working in a plant shop and the lead male, he discovers this new kind of plant and it turns out the plant likes blood. And it may seem scary, but it's actually a comedy and it's just, the plot mainly goes on that, a lot of funny scenes. I'm Ali Cowley and I'm a sophomore at Horton High School. Yeah, there's a lot of lines, there's a lot of studying at home and a lot of blocking. A lot of things that people don't realize goes into this, really does, so it takes a lot of time. We also have Murphy Tineo as Mushnik, and um, one of the funnest, well two of the funnest roles, they're all really fun. We have um, uh, James Richardson as the voice of the plant, and he's just going to town on it, he's hysterical. Little Shop of Horrors is about a plant that mysteriously um, beamed onto Earth and an unfortunate soul that has stumbled upon it and it slowly starts to devour his life, literally. I really like acting and speaking and singing, it's just I don't really like to be seen, so. <laughs> so it was perfect because I could be backstage while I sung and spoke. Yeah, kids are going to love this because there's a lot of scenery that they're going to love, big stuff that's going to keep their attention the whole time, and it's totally age appropriate for everybody. The play is next weekend, November 15th and 16th. It's November 15th and 16th at 7 o'clock. Come and enjoy it. It's just fabulous. And so I don't think Horton's really, I don't think Horton's ever done it before. So it's, it's tons of fun.